Okay, a little video today. The purpose is to show you uh, using Ardu boat in probably one of the uh, worst environments you could ever possibly want to run a boat in. Uh, I am using UAV cast as my uh, mode of uh, control. Uh, you will see later in the video that I need to switch over to an RFD 900, but uh, that will come up later in the video. So, uh, it's not a very nice day out. It's cloudy, rainy, uh, but what I'm heading over to do is a friend about a quarter mile away has a seawall that uh, he wanted me to take a look at at low tide. So we are now there. Now if you notice this environment I'm working under, or in, under shortly, there's a seawall off to my left. There's going to be a dock above me and at some point a 40 foot boat above me. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of rebar and iron in the seawall. You got electrical power cords that run underneath the dock. And at some point I'll be closer to the boat which has big motors in it. So I was getting a lot of EKF errors. Uh, the GPS was having a hard time seeing the sky. And even at one point I lose communication with UAV cast and I'm in a little bit of a, a hard spot for a period of time as you'll see coming up in a I don't know three or four minutes or so uh, it was a good experiment one of the problems I have here living on the coast with using UAV cast in this environment all the cell towers are sort of on the mainland in front of the boat to the left of the boat right here I'm very close to the coast so there is no cell tower south of me, north of me, or west of me, only to the east. And I was in a pretty big hole here, and I think I was having a little bit of uh, communication problems and not getting a really good data stream from time to time. Uh, at the moment, I'm moving very slow here because, as you'll see later, uh, in the last eight minutes of video on the HUD, I really couldn't see too well as a parent here. Uh, my video was freezing up a little bit, although I still had telemetry and could see what my throttle was and which way I was pointing. Uh, the video was freezing a, a great deal while I was underneath here. Uh, I'm going to attribute that to right now the fact that the, the cell towers were all uh, blocked uh, from the boat. So, okay, I am slowly backing away. Now you see that twitch in the camera? That happens when I lose connection. So for a brief moment, the boat lost connection. Boom, there I go again. It lost connection with my ground station, with a cell tower and all that. And then it came back again. I now have a little bit of video feed apparently as I'm trying to move and turn. Well, what's going to happen in a little bit here is I'm going to lose communication, period. Okay, there it goes again. The camera moved and then went back. So I had another short time glitch. And those of you that use Ardu Pilot on a regular basis, you have a fail safe on your ground control station, usually set for about five seconds. So if you lose connection for five seconds okay two three four five time to do a smart RTL and well it's a little bit of a problem the boat lost con contact with me and did the right thing after five seconds it decided it wanted to do a smart RTL and come home and unfortunately got a piling stuck in between it so I'm at home right now I have no situational awareness no video, no telemetry. The boat's running at full throttle trying to get home. I had anticipated some kind of problem like this, so I had an RFD 900 with me, and I plugged it into my computer and was able to reestablish a connection uh, to the boat using uh, 915 megahertz uh, RFD, um, fortunately. And it seemed like the longest minute in the world getting that hooked up and downloading the parameters and then realizing that, yeah, the throttles are pegged at 100%. It's trying to come home 
and getting the joystick enabled and everything. So I have now done that. I'm, I've got control over the boat again, but I cannot see. I am in my house. I can't see the boat. I have no video, although I do have control of the boat. So I chose to put it in hold for a little bit and just let it drift. And then I figured i uh, put it in manual and hit the throttle a little bit and see if I could see it moving on my map on Mission Planner knowing that I had freed myself up from the situation I was in because you know still like I said this is the video off the GoPro off the camera uh, I was blind at home I did not know and the biggest relief happened about now when I could see the boat moving on the map and it responding to commands a little while later after I loitered for a bit I went back to UAV cast now uh, so no, I'm not on RFD 900 anymore. I'm back on UAV cast. I am not going to go back under the dock uh, because of the problems I just had. But I thought I'd come back and just see if I could skirt the edge of the dock underneath the boat if everything would be okay. Um, it's just a really, really tough environment, especially without having a visual on the boat at all. And I'm not going to talk a whole lot uh, for the last eight minutes of this because what the last eight minutes is is a uh, recorded HUD image from Mission Planner of two days prior when I went over to do the same thing. But I was recording it on the HUD so you can see all the HUD information. You can see how the, the picture freezes up a little bit from time to time and see all the information. Now, I don't know, maybe maybe my uh, modem, maybe my cell modem in the boat needs to be placed in a better place. Uh, maybe I need a better modem. Maybe it's because the cell towers are very scarce here along the coast, and I had myself kind of stuck in a, a hole there that uh, gave me the problems. So I'm now heading back into uh, my harbor. I'm pretty sure I lost a, a pound or two sweating with that whole ordeal. Now the last problem I had was how do I how do I get the boat to stay in place so I can come down out of where I live and come and get the boat because I know darn well right now if I just stop it and by the time I get down here in two minutes the wind will have blown it, the current will have taken it. If I put it in loiter it'll be a few feet off the dock I won't be able to reach it. So I was trying to kind of making this up as I went along and I just slowly came and again I'm on UAV cast now so I can see this all crystal clear in my house. I can see where I'm at. So I just thought I'd put the nose of the boat up into there. I played a little bit with some throttle settings. Uh, that was in steering mode. That didn't work too well because the throttle kept going stronger and stronger. So I put it in manual and just gave it about 4% throttle here in a second and it just held it in place uh, with very little effort and then I came down and when I came to the boat I just took it and unplugged the batteries on, in each hull and that was that so it was a, a big learning experience um, you know working in uh, an overhead environment I really haven't had any problems with this boat out in the open water, um, but in the you know against the seawall here that we're coming up to again, and the dock, it was a little hairy at sometimes, and uh, you know this is the most difficult environment I I think that you could possibly use Ardu pilot in. Uh, so I think I promised I was going to keep quiet for the last eight minutes of the video. This will be the last seven and a half or so, and it, again, it is just uh, a recorded HUD version or HUD view that I had at home of two days prior under pretty much the same circumstances.